Hi John, my name is Mike Macri. I've been vanning for about uh, close to 40 years out of New England, Connecticut area. We retired, came down here oh, about a year ago. This is my 1979 Chevy van, which I've owned for about 31 years. With the exception of two years, I did sell it and I got it back just recently. First time showing the van in Florida. Uh, basically stock engine. Uh, the paint's about 25 years old. Still holding up very well. The pinstripe was done by an artist named Gary Reed. Back in the uh, late 90s, he did this for me up in Connecticut. And by the way, he resides in Florida right now. And he's still working. We have some pinstripe uh, all around the van. Some glatch et et etching on the windows. It was done, done by an artist named J.T. Spy in 1991. The main side of the van, like I said, this paint is uh, is old. It was owned by a gentleman in Salt City Vans for the last two years, and he's a friend of mine, and I bought it back when he was ready to sell it. I went up to New York a few weeks ago, drove it back. So you got the tow package on there? Yep, tow package. I've towed things with this. You can get a look on the inside. We ha I made up a blanket of some of the older uh, vanning t-shirts. This van's probably been to realistically about 500 truckings all through New England and the Northeast and Ohio. All it needs is air conditioning. <laughs> no, don't have air. Well, it's okay. It's a New, yeah. New England van. New England, yeah, right. There you go. No. Yeah, my Pennsylvania van didn't have air either. That's, uh, yeah, a lot of storage under the back here. Yeah, the it's just yeah. just basic yeah. stuff. Yeah, right. Everything yeah. you need. Spare tools. Yep. Yeah, perfect. So. Got it in the doors, too? No, just empty, just for oil and stuff. And, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, no big deal. Uh-huh. The mags are from American Racing, but they are directional. These slots right down here yeah. point forward on both sides of the van. Now you can't get them, so the slots will go the other way on one side of your vehicle. So these are about 20 years old, and they're still holding up well. Mm -hmm. A little more pinstripe by JT Spy. Blasted. Yes, and sandblasting. You can tell the difference in the clouds oh, yeah, there. Yeah. That's right. a sandblast. Uh -huh. The van has 188,000 miles on it, oh. and there's absolutely no rust. Nice. It has been garaged quite a bit. Oh yeah, there's your jacket. Vanning jacket. We've been to about 18 nationals, and uh, a lot of van runs, hundreds and hundreds. I love it. Nice woodwork there done. You get some nice cabinets. Yep, switches yeah, everywhere. Yeah. You got your power over here. Yeah, we got lights, we got red lights, we got all kinds of lights. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Very the, nice. the van is a survivor van. You got the roof vent up there for a little, sure. little air. Yep. Button stuck on the ceiling. Which yes. The console was built and designed by myself. It has a CV, stereo, and lights and other miscellaneous things in there. Ignition cutout circuit. So we're uh, we're actually pretty pretty well set up. Nice. If I do have a cutout switch, you can never start the van if these sw six switches are not in the right order. Oh well, don't tell everybody that. Yeah. <laughs> And we have other stuff uh, like this, 
which are, is just for visuals. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a V with LEDs. Oh. Just some circuitry I came up with. And, yeah. and uh, let's see. No Mercy is right here. This was the theme of the van. No Mercy oh, yeah. at one time because of alcohol. <laughs> alcohol related so I built something for no mercy uh -huh. so this is the the theme of the van is kind of no mercy the dash is basically stock uh, it has an old-time steering wheel from the 80s and uh, dual voltmeters to monitor dual batteries that I have in here mm -hmm. so we always know we can camp and we can always start the van always important yes it is, yes, it is. <laughs> all right good deal very nice thank you a lot of storage here too i like that yes uh oh you can never I... have enough room there's also uh -huh. this is a custom built wine cabinet to uh -huh. hold three bottles of wine uh -huh. and i did have them from 1991 but they all kind of disintegrated <laughs> You put some whiskey bottles in there now. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Some Jack. Very nice. Getting jacket. We've been to about 18 nationals and, uh, and made a lot of friends.